my name is Simon Singh and I'm the author of The Simpsons and Their Mathematical Secrets. And the idea of this book is that the world's most successful TV show, The Simpsons, is full of mathematics. And the reason it's full of mathematics is because lots of people on the writing team are mathematicians. And by that I mean people with master's degrees in maths, people with PhDs in mathematics. Now, they smuggle little bits of mathematics into each episode when we're not looking. Let, let me show you what I mean. Um, there's an episode called Marge and Homer Turn a Couple Play. In that episode, a baseball hero, Buck Mitchell, is having relationship problems with uh, Tabitha Vicks. And they turn to Marge and Homer for relationship advice. Now, at some point in that episode, there's a baseball match and there's a jumbo vision screen. Let me show you that jumbo vision screen. Here we go. The jumbo vision screen asks people in the crowd, what is the attendance that, that, during that game? And they offer three numbers and they look like ordinary numbers. Uh, nothing special here, unless you're a mathematician. If you're a mathematician, you will realize how special these three numbers are. The first number is 8191. Now that's a prime number. A prime number means it's got no divisors apart from one and the number itself. Now all prime numbers in mathematics are special, but this is a special type of prime number. It's known as a Mersenne prime, named after Father Mersenne, a French theologian and mathematician. Now Mersenne primes have a special form, which is two to the power p minus one, where p is a prime number. In this case, it's two to the power 13 minus one. Now you don't need to worry about that. Um, one of the things, for example, that makes Mersenne primes really special, you know, something worth remembering, is that the 10 biggest primes we know of are all Mersenne primes. And I think that's why the mathematical writers of The Simpsons put a Mersenne prime number right here at the top. Second number is 8128. Now that's a special number because it's a so-called perfect number. Um, the smallest perfect number is 6. It's a perfect number because six has three divisors. One goes into six, two goes into six, and three goes into six. And one plus two plus three is six. That makes six perfect. 28 is the second perfect number. It has the divisors one, two, four, seven, and 14. If you add them together, one plus two plus four plus seven plus 14 is 28, which makes 28 a perfect number. The third perfect number is 496. The fourth perfect number is 8128. Perfect numbers. As René Descartes said, uh, perfect numbers like perfect men are very rare. That makes them special. That's why they appear here. The third number is 8208. Now, that's a so-called narcissistic number. Now, what do I mean by narcissistic number? Well, it's got four digits, uh, one, two, three, four digits. And if we raise each of those digits to the power four, so we have eight to the power four, two to the power four, zero to the power four, eight to the power four, and we add those four numbers together, eight to the power four plus two to the power four plus zero to the power four plus eight to the power four, if we add all of those together, we end up generating the number 8208. So the number kind of regenerates itself from the digits within itself. So in a way, 8208 is in love with itself and hence it's a narcissistic number. And the writers of The Simpsons knew this because they love mathematics and they wanted to get it into the episode. As you can tell, I can go on and on and on and on about this because there are hundreds of examples in The Simpsons of mathematics. There are also lots and lots of examples of mathematics in the series Futurama, which is the sister series to The Simpsons. And the reason that Futurama is full of mathematics is because it too is written by mathematicians. But that's a whole other story.